Now, Tom O'Brien. Folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is all about, is a whole mastery. And the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To practice a relationship is therefore about action. It is not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow finish up 187, NASDAQ up 64, S&P's up 27, gold contract up $9.20, trading at 1,624 an ounce. Silver up 30 cents at $27.75 an ounce. Platinum up seven bucks at 1,412 an ounce. Copper up three and a half pennies at 342 a pound. Light sweet crude up 70 cents trading out at $90.90 and cents a barrel. Bonds down a full two ticks and three ticks. A full two points rather and three ticks at 150.13. We'll get back to that. King dollar. Down 99.6 at 82.76. The euro is up 22 at 123.04. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you broke the swing point. You are at 13.85 on the cash. You're going into the swing point. The next swing point up there is 14.13. The bottom of that is... 1385. We did 898 million. Yes, you need more volume, but bottom line, that S&P wants to try to get up into that 1395, excuse me, swing point. Dow Industrials, what the Dow did, Dow breaks the swing, breaks it convincingly too. Doesn't have the juice, but bottom line, up 187 points. Takes out the 12,987, and that shoots for the 13,174 to 13. Uh, the last high up there was the 13,338. Now, bottom line, is that the, the correlation is no doubt should have been 1.2, but bottom line, it'll go up to that swing point. Now, this is where it's going to get wild. NASDAQ composite. So what we just did there, just went from the strongest indice and we're back in, in, into it now. So NASDAQ composite, up nice, 64 points, 2.4 billion shares. We are at 29.58. Uh, the last high, uh, the swing point up there is uh, 29 Let's see, 29.87, which isn't that bad. That's a 30 point split. I suspect that's going to tap into it on Monday. We're at 29.58 right now. And now 29.58, folks, is the bottom of the July 5th level. Okay, small caps. We go over to small caps. Small caps had a run, but still dramatically much weaker than all the other indices. Small caps up 18 bucks, 7.96. Now, the high on the small caps is 8.13. 820 rather. I suspect that the small caps is only going to be able to uh, get into probably 801, where today we got into the 797 level. If we go over next, we take a look at the uh, the SPY. Uh, when we take a look at the SPY, this is what you have inside. This she goes. This we have uh, inside the SPY. So the SPY did 193 million, uh, 204 million shares today. That 204 million is going into the 235 million where we came down from on the 10th. So it takes the swing point out and does it with volume. That is saying that it wants to get into the 139.63 level. Q's, we look at the Q's. What the Q's did out here, Q's did 40 million shares. That's not even close. 40 million is going into 107 million. So it, the Qs, you can see, much, much weaker. No two ways about that. Now, the weakest, however, are the small caps. Sm small caps, uh, if we go take a look at the IWM, what do you have with the IWM? The IWM is going into 101 million shares. We're doing that with 63 million shares. Um, the small caps, the IWM, got to a high of 79.82. Uh, the 79.81, uh, they got to a high of the 79.72. The gap was 79.81. It got into the gap, couldn't hold it. I suspect the small caps can't, can't do too much here. Uh, what we did have, uh, in, in the acceleration up, well, first off, the acceleration up, folks, um, news driven in a big way. Uh, what you had is that, uh, you had the, 
the president of the European Central Bank, bottom line, you know, yesterday he stopped pushing it higher, um, saying that he was going to have a meeting with the president of the Bundesbank in Germany, and bottom line is that they're going to save the world, they're going to save the euro. Um, that's moving the markets. No two ways about it. And this is going to be, you're going to see volatility in spades, just like 2007, 2008. And what that's all about, every couple of days, you know, you're going to come out, they're going to say, hey, we're going to be able to do this. They're not going to be able to do a thing, folks. But that's the bottom line. Uh, the euro went from 130, uh, 133 back down to 120. It's a dead cat bounce. That's all, you, that's all we're talking right here. The euro couldn't even hold the high of, uh, the highs of yesterday. We're at 123. Thirty yesterday, we are at 123 right now. And where is that? That's all. Now, check it out. The dollar is screaming that, you know what? It's rejecting lows again. The dollar did 34,000 contracts coming into the 41,000 contracts. Uh, we closed out the week at 82.75. Um, uh, bottom line is that it rejected those lows. Let's go to Gary in Tampa. Hey, Gary, what's going on? How are you, Tom? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Awesome. Great. Awesome. Day. Cool, man. Every day is great. That's a beautiful thing. That's right. All right. Um, I had alert come off on JPM. Every time it comes to this 3696, it stops dead. And uh, I short it. Let's but, take a look. Uh, today I kind of held it a little bit. See what happens Monday, maybe. Okay. So let's take a look at it. You get JP Morgan Chase, folks. The low is 27. The high is 46. And it's up to the... Okay. So... The last swing out there at 95 million at 3703. You get the 3720. Okay, so so this was a failure, JP Morgan today. So this is what you have. Um, 36. Oh, this is pretty cool, man. So check this out. Okay, so when JP Morgan Chase folks came down, uh, you know, it came straight down from 46. It had monster volume when it gapped away on May 11th. Went from 37 to 36.62 with 217 million shares. That's really a benchmark. So you went into that day with 49 million. What you also did, though, and this is where the failure comes in big time, is that you went over the last swing high out here, which is on the 21st. That was at $37.03. You get the 37.20. You did 49 million shares versus 95 million. You closed underneath it. So, yeah, Monday would be good, man. Great. Took it, brother. Thank Have a great you. one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go to uh, Glenn in Seminole, Florida. Hey, Glenn, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? I am. It's a great day. Sunny here in Florida. It's beautiful. Yep. Um, I'm looking at FAZ, and I was wondering if today showed that it, that it rejected the low. Look at this. They're piling on the banks, folks. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's take a look at it. The FAZ, folks, is the direction... Daily financial 300% inverse correlation of the Russell 1000 index. The, um, now, these folks, all these leverage products, you want to understand how the direction shares work, come over to our website at TFNN, and you're going to see right under ETFs. There's three white papers. Please read them because when you understand them, they're dynamite products. They compound on the way up. They get defensive on the way down, and they're daily investment products. Okay, so when we take a look at this, what you have just, I'm sure you just, you know, heard when we would... We, 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 there we go. We were just talking with Gary. You know, so J.P. Yeah. Morgan Chase, that failed, okay? Um, we take a look at, uh, okay, so let's see. So first off, okay, so this gets into, in fact, let me put this on a weekly for a second. Oh, this is sweet, man. I mean, even on a daily, it's going into 21,000 with 15,000. So if we put it on a weekly, what you have is that it wants to trade up to 31. You're at 21. You're backing into, let's see, it's 21.74. There it is right there, 88 million. It did 65. Okay, so watch what we did, folks. On the daily, you know, it was basically saying that, yeah, it's backing in, you know, with lighter volume. On the weekly, it's backing in uh, the price point there, too, um, that I'm going to, Glenn, is from the week of May, I mean, um, March 23rd. You okay. see the high the high of that was twenty one dollars and seventy four cents. So watch what it does, folks. It goes to twenty one forty one, closed at twenty one seventy five, does that with sixty five million versus eighty eight million. Yeah, so that's saying the same thing, man. Okay. Got okay, brother. Right Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. 
you got to pick the embassy, folks. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> uh, there's no two ways about it. Dow finished up 167. Nasdaq up 64. S&P's up 27. We're going to be right back, folks.